All right, so we got Gus here. Yes, we do. And we're taking him on just a little walk. And I'll have him in a free walk right now. We haven't done really much structured walk with him just because we're only working on those few things with him. But I'm taking him to Urban. Nice little morning walk. Gus, here. His recalls are still great. Good job. Sorry, my friend who, I, I think you heard the horn honk. That was my friend. And then she texted me being like, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were filming a video. <laughs> but anyways, that's why I was a little giggly. <clears throat> Gus, just a little fun side fact. Gus here. Gus, no. Here. Good. Sit. Stay. We're going to practice our sit stays too. Wow, good boy. We have a great day named Gus. He was black. He looks a little bit like him. Just like a shrunken version. Look at how proper he's sitting. Gus, good boy. Yes. Good. Stay. Good boy, gosh. Good job. So he's sitting very still, but he can, you know, look around, all that. As long as he's sitting. Good job. Free! Good job, Gus. Gus. Yes, good boy. Good job. <coughs> good boy, gosh. Good job. I'm gonna sniff around a little more. Again, he's doing really well. He's like a perfect boy, so. Good job, buddy. So I have the e collar out if he doesn't respond to me when I just call him, but practice some long distance recalls. Gus here! Good boy, come on here. I didn't use the e-collar for that. Gus, no. Good. <clears throat> Good, free. So I just let him have some time. Like he's not someone I'm super concerned. Gus, you're free. <laughs> someone I'm super concerned with um, having to respond immediately to me. That's just kind of his personality. He'll take a second, I'll give him a second before he has to necessarily recall back to me. Gus, he sees a runner. Yeah, he's very observant. He gets focused in. Gus, here. So I'm gonna use the e-collar a little bit. Gus, here. Good boy. All the way, Gus, here. Good. Good job, buddy. We'll try that one more time. Hey, Gus, free. So I did use the e-collar for that one, and I would let him, like, I would recall him. He starts coming back to me, great. Don't keep recalling him, but when he starts to move away and, like, get distracted by something else, that's when I'll recall him again, repeat the here. Gus, here. Good, come on. No, Gus, here. Good job here, buddy. We're going to try that again until you come on the first call. Most dogs I wouldn't allow just to be off leash sniffing like this and doing long distance recalls without a leash, but I trust him a lot. <laughs> and I have the e-collar too, so. Gus, here. Good job. Perfect. Good boy, Gus. Good job. So again, for that, I really want to make sure we ended on a good note um, because a lot of times dogs will test and they'll just won't keep doing it. And if you get frustrated and they don't end on a good note, they'll just assume that if I just keep annoying mom, then they'll let me stop eventually. So you really got to make sure you always end on a good note with the dog just so they don't get in that mindset of getting really stubborn and knowing that's going to get them to stop training. They have to do it perfect before they can stop training. But he's doing excellent. Good job, Gus Gosh.